So, hello, I'm Helen, and today we are going to talk about the passive and active verbs. What is it an active verb? When we want to say that the subject of the sentence is doing the action, we use the verb of that sentence is its active verb. For example, you can see the man. A man is cutting down a tree. A man is a subject doing the action cutting the tree. Now, in this sentence, we use the active form of present simple tense. But at the another picture, you, we have the another situation. And so, when we want to say that the subject of the sentence is not doing anything but is allowing something to be done to it by somebody else, we use the passive voice verb. For example, a tree is being cut down by a man. A tree subject is not doing anything but allowing a man to cut it. Here we use the passive form of You can see in the picture the woman. What is she doing? She bakes cake. Here we use the active form of the present simple tense. But when we transform this sentence in the passive form, we say the another way. Cakes are baked by her. Here we use the passive form of the present simple tense. John reads a book every day. Here we can see the, uh, here we have the present simple active. John, the subject of the active sentence. But the book is read every day by John in the passive voice. By John, object of the preposition by. And the subject of the active sentence becomes the object of the preposition in the passive sentence. But the John is shown at the end of the sentence with the preposition by. John reads a book every day. Active firm. We use the words because we say the sentence in the present simple about uh, in the passive form we say a book is read every day by John. It's a passive form. The active form of the verb in active sentence is changed into the passive form in the passive sentence. We transform the read into the is read. One more time. John reads a book every day. The active voice. But the book is read every day by John. It's a passive voice. We change it. A book right on the first position of the sentence. And we have a sentence. A book is read every day by John. Another part of our lesson is a 
simple, passive. We have the sentence, she taught me a secret. This sentence is in active voice. But the told, we use the verb, the told in the past simple tense. But if we transform this sentence in the passive form, we have another variant of sentence. A secret was told me by her. Here we use the help though, both, and the third form of the though, told. So, the subject of the active voice sentence becomes the object of the preposition in the passive voice sentence. The prepositions is usually by when the subject is a person and with when the subject is a thing, such as a knife, gun, arrow, and Look here, the hunter shot the deer with her, the active form. But in the passive form, we change it. The deer was shot with an arrow by the hunter. This one, the passive form. We use the preposition with for an arrow because it is a thing. And we use the preposition by for a hunter because he's person. He carried some books. Active voice. But we talk about the plural noun in active voice. In the passive forms, we transform again this sentence and use the help of verb because we talk about the plural things. And we have another sentence. Some books were carried by him. You can see the passive form. So, this, uh, now you have the task. Let's choose the correct variant from A to D to fill in the blanks from first to the fifth as an example here in the zero position. Okay, it's very interesting uh, test, uh, text uh, about the robot. Let's read out together. For example, let's start. A Simon is a robot with a human appearance which can run and walk. It was created in 2000 by engineers at the Japanese company Hanka. Here they use the past simple passive voice. At the moment, Asia Asima is used to teach young people about maths and science. Here they use the simple present passive form. In the future, it will help people who have problems with movement. In 1495, Leonardo da Vinci was <coughs> first True plans for a robot that looked like a person, but it wasn't until the 1950s that the first piece of robotic technology was first produced. Here they use the past simple passive again. In the you see George Devil and Joe Angry Bird designed a robot arms which was in a car factory. Be careful, in this sentence we use two forms, active and passive forms of past simple tense. 
on the past part of the sentence, we use the active part and use ed form. And at the uh, second part, we use the passive and use the help of was and used. These days, robots do jobs in the places where a human might help. For example, they are used in places like nuclear power station, in outer space and deep under the water. So, okay. So, continue. We have another task. Look here. We have some sentence and I transformed this sentence for you. Look here. Because somebody sends email. Emails are sent. Somebody cuts the cross. The cross is cut. Somebody loves the London Sparks. The London Sparks are loved. Somebody delivers milk in the evening. Milk is delivered in the evenings. Somebody buildings new builds new houses every year. New houses are built every year. In this part, they use the present simple passive form. And we use the hot dog such as it. R is uh, and the third form of the, of the in uh, the another part of this exercise we use the another tense. Somebody loved that woman. That woman was loved. Somebody painted the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa was painted. Somebody forgot the papers. The papers were forgotten. Somebody employed a lot of new waiters. New waiters, a lot, sorry, a lot of new waiters were employed. Somebody told me to wait. I was told to wait. In the second part, we use only the past simple passive form. And with using the help of was for he or she and it and there and I, sorry, and there for you, we and they. So thanks for your attention. Don't worry, be happy.